guys, Miss Charlie here with a get ready with me story time. I haven't done one of these in a while and a lot of things, well, some things have been going on and just wanted to do my makeup and talk about it. Um, I finally got the Friday the 13th order that I made with a Glam Light last month on Friday the 13th and I got it um, almost a month later so I heard that their shipping times were like two to three weeks but it took like a month for me to get it so here it is and I'm gonna do a look using it today um, I didn't order the whole the whole collection because some of that stuff I just didn't need or didn't interest me so these are the three things that I did get the mirror of course I love this mirror mirror it's a nice weight too and easy to hold you can travel with this it's not that big and there is let's see around me there but it's a nice mirror and then I got the candle move this out of the way the candle which is cherry scented which I thought was a little weird but it is cherry scented it's very pretty I haven't burned it yet but I was thinking that this would smell either like blood which would be like a metallic um, iodine type smell or something more like oud or deep like leather or tobacco something like that or since Camp Crystal Lake it would be like um, a, a fire uh, a campfire or outdoors or woods or or pine or something like that not cherry because it doesn't go with Friday the 13th I don't know if they were just going with the colors or whatnot but to me it should have smelled like something that would fit Friday the 13th and cherry is not it but I will burn it with my other candles but right now I'm sitting here and I can smell it it smells really really good but I just thought it should be a different scent and then the palette we have comes in this case which is really nice I like this case you could travel with this just the palette is inside so you could travel with this It'd be easy and then it is oh, I can open it it is magnetized in the front and then you open it and it looks like a, a VHS tape and the palette is inside which has the holographic on it which is really nice it's very light not really heavy cardboard and this is what she looks like inside not a very big palette but it's it's perfect size I love the tones in here I have not swatched it when I'm filming this but I will show you swatches um, but these reds here are calling my name so I'm gonna probably play with those and maybe this color here death curse which is like a gray brown and then unlucky day which is like a purple or a plum brown so I might play with those and we'll see what else so but I know I'm gonna play with these two reds because this one is really really pretty this one they might come off the same on the eye but this one is looking a little darker than this one but we will see but that is the palette and we're gonna play with this today and just talk about some things that's been going on in the beauty community in my life things like that things I'm planning to do for next year on my channel and also on my Instagram just just yapping so um, if you got this collection, let me know. Let me know what you got. If you've played with it yet, what your thoughts are. Give me all the details. But um, we're going to go ahead and get started with my Get Ready With Me. 
Hey everybody, you saw the intro. I'm going to do a get ready with me story time, just talking about some things using the new Friday the 13th palette from Glamlight. Friday the 13th is a favorite. Jason is a favorite of mine. So when this came out, I had to get this as a collector. And then also I do have a few Glamlight palettes and I kind of like the formula that the palettes that I have have. So we're gonna try this one out, but I got this mostly for collector's purposes because again, I am a Friday the 13th lover and a Jason Voorhees lover. If you don't know who the who the person is behind this, it's Jason Voorhees. And I have my shirt on today, my Friday the 13th shirt today, and I will have my earrings on later once I get done. So I'll have my Jason earrings on. But this is what the palette looks like. It looks like it comes in a like a beta VHS case. And then you open it and this is the top. It looks like a VHS tape. And then the palette that has the, whoops. Uh oh, she's fine though. Yep, yeah, she's fine. So has the holographic on the cover which is really, really cool for Camp Crystal Lake. And then here is the palette and what she looks like. Gorgeous. I haven't swatched this yet. You will see swatches later on, but um, I'm gonna use this palette today and just talk about some things that's been going on and whatnot, because I haven't done a story time, uh, cat hair, in a long time. So I wanted to go ahead and sit down and do one since I have the time. And here is the mirror that I'm going to use. Hey there, there's me, hi me. Um, so there's my, my mirror that I'm going to use. But I've done basically most of my face prep, but I haven't done like my bronzer, my highlight, my contour, or my uh, blush. So I'm gonna do that now, I've done my brows. And everything that I'm using will be in the description box down below. I'm using everything that's in my project pan for the month of November. So check out the description box of what I'm using. But I'm going to go ahead and start with my contour. And I do like the nose contour. And I'm using the Ofra. This is the uh, Buena Vidos uh, Miami. And that's what it looks like and I'm using this as a contour as a contour this as a bronzer I'm not using these highlights today I'm using a more pinky one and I'm not using these blushes I'm using a different blush that's in my project pan which is the wet and wild this is the wine mellow wine this is the old packaging I've had this for a long time but this is a good um, blush it's very pigmented so I'm gonna use that today and then the essence Pure Nude. This is the Space Lighter one. It looks white, but it is, it has a pink reflect. I don't know if you can see that. You can see it there a little bit. It has a bit of a pink reflect. So that's what I'm going to use, but I'm going to go ahead and start with my contour. So what's been going on? Well, and I also have a mirror over here. So Get that together so lately my mental health has been trash and I am a person who has a pretty good mind my mind I have a pretty strong mind um, got that from my mom um, to not let things bother you to just do things the way you want to do them don't always um, you know go along with what people say or listen to a bunch of BS and take it all into you know take things in but then you have to make your own decision you know be strong don't just don't just be willy-nilly just you know be yourself so that's the way I grew up and that's the way I've been since I discovered I say discovered myself since high school because in high school I did I just got to the well I kind of discovered who I really am and who I want to be because um, I was one of those people who 
you know, wanted to be with the cool kids, want to be with the popular kids, and wanted to do this and that to be liked and things like that. I stopped doing that in high school. When I, be, when I was a freshman in high school, trying to brandy, sorry, trying to, you know, fit in. Um, I went to a Catholic school, not Catholic. So trying to fit in and things like that. And most of the kids that I went to school with were, their parents were, you know, they made more money than my mom did because it was my mom who took care of me. My dad helped too. They weren't married, but my dad was still there to help out. So no, we were not, we were lower middle class. Um, and these people were upper middle class or, you know, in a totally different tax bracket. But my mom worked hard to send me to private school, my dad too, to send me to private school because they didn't want me in the public schools at the time, which were not that great at the time. So I learned a lot about myself, how people are, how people treat you, what people look for in a friend, um, things like that. So I kind of learned those things then and then I just built on that. So by the time I was a senior, I was just like, screw all you people, I don't like you, don't talk to me, you've done nothing for me. The, my, the, my peers, I should say. I went to my 10th year reunion because my best friend at the time, me, uh, she was um, given the opportunity to put it together and I helped her do that. And it was fun, but most of the people there, I was just like, I hardly hung around with any of these people. Any of these people really didn't know me. I mean, they knew my name. We went to class together. We were in sports together or not sports. I did band, things like that, but they didn't really know me. And I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I never went to another reunion because I'm like, I don't know. But my son ended up going to my, my alma mater he enjoyed it the first year he was because he's very shy um sometimes so his first year was a little struggle because of his shyness but he met some really good friends that are still his friends to this day because he's graduated he'll be 25. he's found some really good friends there that are still his friends now that he talks to that come over hang out things like that so he learned some things there too but i learned those things when i was a freshman but lately, my demeanor has been, it's been broken down, not all the way, but getting triggered. Because you can get triggered by things, you know, out of nowhere. But with my anxiety being at full tilt with my anxiety, I had anxiety maybe once a month, maybe once every two months. I didn't get anxious. I didn't get anxious because I... I was doing other things I, I can't I, I couldn't let myself do that um, and you know sometimes being anxious you can't control it you can't just stop it and make it go away um, but sometimes I try to do that by doing other things so that it didn't overwhelm me because my husband is has mental problems and things and anxiousness is one of his and I used to go through with him for many years, him going through being anxious and depressed and things like that. And it I could see how it wore on him. And then when I become anxious, I see how it wears on me. You know, and I'm like, I don't wanna go through that because I can see what he's going through. Sorry, my security is going off because of the cats outside. They're outside, so let me just look. Always check the cameras. Like my husband says, always check the cameras when they go out. Just make sure that there's nobody out there. Nope, it's one of the cats. So, but these last couple of months, I've just been getting triggered and I don't know why. And I've been getting triggered at work. And what I do for a living is people ask, you know, what do you do for a living? I work for a bank, but I listen to people bitch and moan is basically what I do. I listen to people bitch and moan about their finances, things like that, and sometimes they're bitching about things that are easily solvable 
or mistakes that they have made and they want someone else to fix it. Simple fixes. And I'm one of those people, I'm like, I don't have time to worry about things that I know that are in my control, that I can fix, that I can change. I don't really need to ask someone else to do it for me. It's something that I can do. Real simple. So I've just been getting triggered from that. And I don't, I've been doing this job for almost 30 years and I'm like, why am I getting triggered now? Why, why? So I talked to my doctor, I went to see her. She's got me on medication, so we'll see how it goes. These last few weeks, I haven't been as triggered because I'm one of those people where I'm very, blunt very to the point especially in my job if you ask me a question I'm going to tell you the answer in a short amount of words and get the point because there's no need to make two sentences into two paragraphs especially when this situation is very simple and very easy but a lot of our customers want to use 16,000 words to say nothing, basically. I'm like, so you said all those words, but you haven't told me anything. But when you asked me a question, I gave you the direct answer in so many words, and that's it. So that's just the type of person I am. Not to, and people say that I, I'm, I'm rude or things like that. I'm, no, I'm very upfront. If you ask me a question, I'm gonna answer it period. If you don't like the answer, that, that's a you problem. That's not a me problem. You ask me a question, here's your answer. Um, do with it as you will. But anyway, I've just been getting triggered at work. I have never cried at work um, as much as I've been crying these last few months. And I'm like, why am I crying? Why? I'm just, I get overwhelmed and then I start to cry. The first time I ever cried at work was um, right after my mom passed. It was like a few months after she had passed and I had a customer call and she wanted me to do something for her that I couldn't do. It's not something that I was able to do. And she wanted to go on and on and say, oh, you just don't care, I have cancer. I'm sorry, I don't know you. I'm, I'm sorry that you have cancer. I'm, uh, I'm very sorry you know my mom had cancer she was a cancer survivor that's not what she died of but um, she was a cancer survivor so I know how that, I know what that's about so I don't know you so I can't feel that kind of way towards you when I don't know you so she's like well you don't care because you know because I have cancer what you're asking me to do has nothing to do with you having cancer not in any way shape or form but it triggered me because my mom had just passed and I was like, she's like, well, you don't know what it's like. I said, yes, ma'am. I said, my mom had cancer and she recently passed away. I said, so yeah, I know what it's like to, to be with someone who has who had cancer. And I just, I just, I don't know if I was just mad and you know, you get mad and then you start to cry or if it just triggered me because she had just passed. I don't know. But that was the first time I had ever cried at work. And then lately, I've been crying because I'm just getting, I was getting overwhelmed and then, and it was something so simple. Someone was asking me to help them to log into their account, things like that. And people don't listen. They do not listen. You call me for help. You're, I'm giving you the instructions that you need to do what you need to do so you can go on your merry way, but you're not listening. And then you're getting frustrated with me. How about you turn it down a notch, listen to the instructions, because once she listened to the instructions, she got into her account, she did exactly what I told her to do, and that was it. Why are we fighting? You called me for help, but then you want to retaliate against me for trying to help you, and you're not listening to me. And any other time, I just would have been like, you know, listen don't listen get into your account don't get into your account and it's not hurting me at all it this is a whole you problem now if you can't handle simple directions that, that that's something you need to work on 
but that day I just I was just bawling and shaking and I just felt like pressure was just weighing me down and I just felt I, I had to I told one of the managers I said I can't do this today I can't do it so she let me off and she was like I hope you get better you know and our company has a lot of resources for mental health so she gave me all that information and um whatnot but I it was just bad and it was on a Friday thank goodness because then I have the weekend to kind of get myself together but it was just I was just like I can't do this today I can't do this I can't and then Monday I'm gonna go into this red here this dark red this is called new blood because I want to do a red I want to do red um, and it's got a little bit of sparkle in it but um, yeah I was just like um, what the hell and that whole weekend I was really anxious and overwhelmed and I just I, I do, I'm like what is wrong with me what is wrong and my husband was just worried about me he's like this is not you you are the strong one what is going on and I was like I have no idea so I talked to my doctor and she put me on some medication this does have a little bit of fallout just so you're aware Knock that off I wanted to go in for a red smoky so I'm just gonna use a few of these colors because I just want to go in with a red smoky I don't know why that's my one. but yeah so my mental health has been kind of crap um, it's been a little slow at work right now because people are getting ready to go away for the holidays and they're trying to get their finances in order before they go you know things like that so right now it's not as hectic or as busy, which is great. And most of my interactions have been, I mean, I've had a few interactions where, you know, people are upset or mad or whatnot, but it didn't trigger me. It didn't trigger me. So I'm working on it. But um, other than that, getting ready for the holidays, we are hosting. You will probably see this video after Thanksgiving because we are hosting Thanksgiving so this week is going to be really busy for us getting things together but but yeah my mental health is it's there and yeah so wish me luck on that <laughs> so far I do still get anxious but I'm trying to to work on it I wish they had a white in here why is there no white in here there should be a white in here. I can blend this out. So in that case, since there isn't a white, I'm going to grab one of my single shadows from Lorac. I have a bunch, I have a, quite a few of these. This one is in bone and I, I use this quite a bit to blend out my brow bone and whatnot. But to move on to some other things, um, I had a situation and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mention any names I'm just gonna be general I'm just gonna be generalizing the situation but you know how some things happen for a reason and you're just like wow you know there is something out there in the universe and things happen for a reason well I had this particular friend that I met on socials and um, we talked back and forth for about a year or so, you know, whatnot. Got along. We don't live far from each other. Things like that. Um, and then this year, for some reason, um, they just ghosted me, blocked me. I'm just like, the hell? And I was just like, what happened? Did I do something wrong? Please tell me, because I'm one of those people. If I, if you're upset with me or mad at me or whatnot, I would like to know, so I can at least have the opportunity to fix the problem or explain myself or whatever, um, because it will bother me. And it's this came out to be more of like a raspberry than a yeah, lots of kick up. This color right here. Uh, come on, camera. This one right here. 
it's darker than this one but it look it's more of a raspberry when I put it on than a red so that's disappointing because I wanted red but it's more of a raspberry but uh here we go anyway I was just like what happened I don't know and it bothered me for a few weeks what did I do wrong why didn't you you know come to me and if I did something wrong let me know so I let it go but every now and again I would think about it because um, I would see that person on socials and just be like what did I do and I'm like I don't want to put that kind of stuff in comments and things like that that's that's something that's between me and you it shouldn't be I'm not gonna put it out there like that so I'm like, well, whenever they're ready, I guess they'll come to me and ask me or whatever. So I let it go. And again, it bothered me every now and again. I'd still wonder when I saw that person, you know, what, what happened? What, what did I do? And then one day, I would, they were just on my mind. I'm just like, they're just, you know how you have people on your mind. <laughs> And my mom was one of those people that said, you know, you can think somebody up, you can talk somebody up, you know, you can talk about them and all of a sudden they'll show up <clears throat> or they'll call or something like that. Well, in this case, I guess I thought that person up because I was thinking about them. It was the evening. I was <clears throat> in bed watching TV and I was thinking they, they crossed my mind. And then the next morning I woke up and I get this long message from them apologizing and I was just like what and I read it and I was just like okay okay and I and I sent them a message back saying you know I wish you had talked to me first about what was going on um, to let me give you my side of whatever you were hearing because basically they were list they were getting information from someone else that was giving them the wrong information about me they didn't know me that if I support and as of me filming this I have a specific person in mind that I think it was but when I'm when I edit this because I'm gonna we're gonna talk actually talk to each other not text not DM we're actually gonna she's gonna we're gonna call and talk to each other um, to, to get the you know see what's going on I will let you know what happened but she was listening to someone about me giving her wrong ideas about me and things like that. I'm like, she was like, we, we quoted them the toxic friend. And I'm like, okay. And if it's the person that I think it is, I'm like, yes, that person is toxic. I'm not, I'm not that person that likes to be around toxic people, around a bunch of nonsense and things. I, I, I can't. I can't. So... But there's that, so we will talk and um, get our situation straightened out and, you know, go back to being friends. So, so that's, that's a good thing. It's a good thing. Also, I wanted to thank all of those who contributed to the A to Z collab. I appreciate all of you for doing for doing looks and joining and it's just been so much fun i really i really appreciate all of you it, it was it was so fun um we're doing the last three letters now um when i'm filming this posting next week but um it's also a free-for-all since it's x y and z and there's not a lot of brands out there that begin with x y and z um so i'm doing it as a free-for-all so if you don't have any excuse me, single shadows that begin with X, Y, and Z, or uh, palettes that begin with that, or even, you know, brands, free for all, do whatever you want to do, that's fine. But the next year, I'm starting a new collab in 2024, which is going to be even more fun, I think. You let me know if you join this. I'm going to put it out there in January, um, in, at the end of December, and then we're going to start it in January, so it'll be once a month that we will post and we're going to we're going to we are going to 
use our single shadows. If you have a bunch of single shadows and you have them and you forget about them or whatnot and you're just like, I forgot I had these, pull them out because we're going to do a collab using our single shadows. If you don't have a lot of single shadows, you can pull out a palette and just use single ones, but the looks are going to be done with just single shadows. And then I will let you know the concept of the collab in December. So make sure you are um, following me on Instagram. Make sure you are following me here on YouTube so you can find out what that new collab is going to be because we can either do it here on YouTube or Instagram or whichever is easier. I think Instagram is a lot easier because you're just posting a picture. You're not going through video taping and editing and all that stuff like that. So we'll probably just stick it to Instagram, but I'm excited for that. But I'm going to go ahead and get this finished up. And again, all the products I'm using will be listed below and I'm using my little hand mirror instead of my Jason mirror which I should be using instead but this one is not a magnifying mirror and this one I use is magnifying because I like to get up in here and see what is going on but yeah I'm gonna choose my inner corner highlight I think I'm gonna use the color Jason lives which is a silver so I think I'm gonna just throw that on the inner corner here it's like a taupey silver it's not like a silver silver I think it's got a little bit of a taupe in it but I don't know why they didn't put a white in here I don't know because they have a black in here but we're gonna use this taupey silver and I have loved been loving for the last I don't know year or so Taking my inner corner, I don't take it down here hardly anymore. I take it all the way up into my crease. That's how I've been wearing my inner corner for the last year or so. And I love that, how that looks to take it all the way up into the crease. And I'm just using a little, this is a little Morphe brush, isn't it? I think this is a Morphe brush because Morphe used to have, I don't know if they still do, a subscription, monthly subscription for brushes where you would get like four or five brushes per month and they would be in different series. And I, I think I got this brush in that because it's really, really tiny and it's good for for getting in the inner corner or detail work. And Black Friday, I am basically, I'm, I'm only buying one thing for Black Friday, and it's many things. I'm buying the Davina collection, her new palette, her new eye primers, and her brushes. So that's what I'm buying. I'm buying those on the 22nd. So I will probably do a video hauling those, but I have bought some other things too. Um, but not Black Friday things. That, that's the only thing I'm, I'm buying for Black Friday. But that is basically the look. And I'll bring it in so you can see it a little better. And then I'm going to put on some mascara, my earrings, and a lip. And then I will be right back. Alright, so I have my lip and my earrings on. These are my Jason earrings. I got these from Timu. I have a lot of earrings from Timu. It's addictive. I love my earrings and I bought a lot from them, but I got these. And then the lip that I'm wearing is from Kaleidos. This is in Rubino. It's a beautiful blood red, which I was hoping this color would be, but it's not, but I, I put it on anyway. It's very comfortable. This, I forgot what these are called. Lip clays. These are lip clays from Kaleidos. Sorry, my husband called, but this is the look here. See the eye. It's basically a raspberry smoky eye. Nothing much, nothing crazy. 
I just wish that, that this red was dark blood red like this. The other one is darker, so I will do look with that, of course. But this is how it came out. I'm happy with it. So thank you all for being here. I appreciate you so much. Um, again, thank you to everyone who has participated in the A to Z collab. Galab. A to Z collab and hopefully you will also participate in the upcoming collab that I will be talking about in December. Um, again, it's going to be fun. So if you have any questions about what I'm wearing, again, it'll all be linked below. These earrings, I can see if I can link them below. If you are a Jason fan, I will link them below. I don't know if this palette is still going to be available, but if it is, I will also link it below for you too. I just love the holographic it's like so cool but this is my look using the friday the 13th glam like palette again thanks for coming make sure you like share and subscribe and i will show you some swatches because <clears throat> again i haven't swatched this when i'm making this video but i will show swatches appreciate you for coming and we will see you in the next story time video